Now, welcome to your beautiful home. Hi, this is Jake Bautista from MetroGuide Realty. And before we begin, for quality home tours, don't forget to follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and subscribe to us here on YouTube. Now, welcome to our latest open house tour for a brand new five bedroom modern house and lot for sale located in a quiet and peaceful community here in BF Homes, Las Piñas City. So this property rests on a 282 square meter lot with a floor area of approximately 363 square meters. It also has a really warm color combination with earth tones and a stone design for the facade. Now let's go! Upon entering the house, you have a landscape garden to your right with a path leading to the side of the house. And on your left side, you have a spacious and well-ventilated two-vehicle carport area. From here, you'll see that the ground level is elevated from the street level by a couple of feet. The whole area doesn't really experience flooding, but it's a great feature to have for brand new houses. Now, welcome to your beautiful home. Your living and dining space is an open area which is divided by your staircase leading to the second floor. But you can see that it has a high ceiling and these large windows letting in so much natural light. On an added note, the windows are slightly tinted, which makes the whole space also cooler inside. If you want greater ventilation, you can open up these side windows here. And it leads you out towards an additional patio space. So this is a great al fresco extension of your living area. And you even have a nice patch of greenery here. This is excellent, especially if you have pets or even a large dog. And this has access leading to the front of the house. Coming back in, let me quickly show you that upon entering the house, you even have an additional cabinet here for your shoes. You'll notice that throughout the entire house, the lights are turned off. They aren't actually off. It's because the bulbs haven't been installed throughout the entire house. The main reason for this is number one, easier maintenance. And number two, you'll have the lights installed once you purchase the house. It also gives you a choice to have the kind of light bulbs that you'd like because some buyers would prefer uh, a more white toned light. Some prefer a more yellowish and warmer uh, color temperature. So from here, you now have your open dining space. Your dining area is quite spacious. You can easily have a large table for six, eight, maybe even 10 people here with plenty of space left over for storage here. And it's well lit because you have these two sliding doors, one leading to a patio and one leading to the side of the house. As we step out here, you'll see that walking from the side of the house, you have access towards the spacious Renai patio area. So it's partially covered and it's a great place to hang out with the family and a great extension of your dining space. So I can open this up and we can head on in. From here, let's now take a quick look at your main kitchen.
The main kitchen is quite spacious. You have a provision here for your refrigerator and you can even have an island countertop here if you'd like. In addition, you once again have the small details like having this nice towel holder over here and you have a window letting in natural light from the other side. And on this side, you have additional storage and here you already have the maid's room. If we step in here, you see you have a large window and you even have additional storage here and a solo bathroom. And now, let's take a look at the auxiliary kitchen space. So coming out here, you see that you have a well-maximized space at the side of the house. You even have a nice touch here. You already have already sampayan area. And you already have a storage tank here for water. And a dirty kitchen space on the side which leads towards the parking area. And you even have a sliding door here leading to the first bedroom, which we will explore now. So from the main kitchen, we, know we now head back out here to the dining space and let's take a look at the first bedroom. The first bedroom is a multi-purpose room. You can maximize this as a guest room, a home office, or even an additional entertainment space. But it already has built-in display, cabinetry, and you even have an area here which you can use as a home office workstation. The nice thing about this room is it even has this large sliding door which we saw earlier when we were out there in the service area. So you can open this up. And it's so breezy here. And you have immediate access towards your parking space. And from here, you have a well-designed bathroom. Having the staircase positioned here in the middle of the living space and dining space gives you the opportunity to have a large window at the side of the house giving you additional light into the whole living and dining space. You can really see that all of the lights in the dining and living space right now are off because there are no bulbs but you can see that it's very bright. So that's a testament to how the windows were really positioned to maximize the light. Looking here at the second level, you see that you have this large window for the staircase, letting in so much natural light here at the second and ground levels. In addition, we're shooting this video later on in the afternoon, and we've noticed that the house is very cool in terms of the temperature because of the design of where the sunlight streams in in the afternoon. So here, let's take a look at the master bedroom. The master bedroom is facing the front of the house. It has these louvers, which give you more shade in the afternoon. And it also adds to the facade of the house. In addition, you have a high ceiling here. And you also have, once again, the protective film so that the area doesn't get damaged even though there are trippings. I'd also like to note that you have a nice wooden design for the flooring, which is a laminate flooring. You also have a dresser space on this side, already with a mirror. And here you have your master walk-in closet space and bathroom. You have a shower enclosure. And on this side, you have a nice bathtub area 
and you even already have an additional tempered glass enclosure here between the bathtub and your toilet and you have a nice dual vanity sink space here and you have a large row of cabinetry on the other side from the master bedroom you have a door here which leads to a linen closet so dito mo pwedeng lagay ang mga punda mga pillows and even additional items here like a vacuum cleaner and on this side, you now have your third bedroom. Your third bedroom is also spacious. It has a regular square shape. It has a high ceiling once again. It is also located at the west side of the property but you see in terms of how the windows were designed the sunlight doesn't stream directly in and hindi nasusunog yung kwarto in addition you also have once again a dresser space which is uh, one of the signature parts of the bedrooms in this house and you have a built-in cabinet space so it's not just the place where you can hang the clothes you also have additional space here for bags and other items nice and on this side you have a solo bathroom so all of the bedrooms have their own bathroom in this house so it doesn't feel cramped at all it's a very good layout in terms of the shower the toilet area and then you have your mirror and sink area Now let's take a look at the fourth room. So the fourth room is in the middle part of the house. This is actually facing more of the east side of the property. So the morning light comes in here. So this has very nice natural light in the morning. High ceiling once again. Like we mentioned before, since it's late afternoon, you see that this is completely lit by sunlight at this point since we don't have the bulbs installed yet. Since you have also the choice to put in the kind of bulbs that you like for this house. And you have a solo bathroom again. So you'll notice that the bathrooms have different designs in terms of the tiles so that every room has its own character. Once again, you have the dresser space. So it has its own light here. And you have the cabinet again. And here we have your fifth room. The fifth room is facing, once again, the east side of the property. It's actually bordering. One side is facing the west, this side is facing the east, and it's a corner room. And it's quite spacious. Once again, high ceiling. You even have additional storage here. But you have to be a little tall to reach this part. And here, you once again have the dresser space with additional storage here and in addition you have a solo bathroom so you'll notice it once again has a different type of tile covering one side of the room so that creates a different contrast and really sets apart every area in terms of the bedrooms for the property features, it has five bedrooms, five bathrooms, a two vehicle carport, an open living area, a dining area, a patio space, a landscape garden, a main kitchen, a service and laundry area, a master walk-in closet, and a master bathroom with a bathtub. And all this with excellent access to the airport, Las Piñas, and Alabang.
We hope you enjoyed that quick property tour video of this brand new 5 bedroom house and lot for sale located here in BF Homes, Las Piñas City. If you want to know more about this property or visit it in person, just click the description below where you can get in touch with us through our email and number shown there. You can also send us a message through Instagram and Facebook. Once again, my name is Jake Bautista from MetroGuide Realty. Thank you for watching and we look forward to bringing you clarity, quality, and convenience in finding a great Metro Manila home for you and your family. Contact us today in the email and number shown here to schedule a property viewing. You can also click the description below for the property details. Don't forget to click that subscribe button so that you can get notified of our future videos. Thanks for watching and we look forward to bringing you and your family a great Metro Manila home.